क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स फाइंड द एंगल मेजर x in the following figures now in from the first figure so here is given one quadrilateral one angle 50 degree 130 degree 120 degree and here x so what we should do here we should find the value of x now in this figure you know that angle sum property of a quadrilateral angle angle sum property of a quadrilateral angle sum property of a quadrilateral that means here we have to add all the four angles okay we have to add all the four angles 50 degree plus 130 degree plus 120 degree plus x is equal to 360 degree sum of all the four angles of a quadrilateral that is equal to 360 degree okay now you should add all this 50 130 and 120 we have to add here so here 0 0 0 first you should keep 0 here then 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 5 that is equal to 10 so 0 here carry 1 1 plus this here 1 2 2 plus 1 it become 3 that means 300 degree plus x is equal to 360 degree next 300 you should take to right hand side rh side so x is equal to 360 degree minus 300 subtract this 360 minus 300 so this is equal to 60 degree that means here x is equal to 60 so this angle it become 60 degree now see in this figure in this figure here x is given 70 degree is given then 60 degree is given here so now this angle this line is perpendicular to this horizontal line here this line is perpendicular to this horizontal line that means this angle it become a 90 degree this angle is 90 degree so now here we have to use angle sum property angle angle sum property of a quadrilateral angle sum property of a quadrilateral that means here all the four angles 1 2 3 4 sum of all the four angles of this quadrilateral that is equal to 360 degree so first we'll take here 90 plus x plus 70 plus 60 degree is equal to 360 degree okay now you should add here 90 plus 70 160 plus 90 plus 70 160 so 160 then this 160 this one fourth angle that is 60 degree fourth angle is 60 degree okay here is 90 plus 70 it become 160 then this again 60 should add here 006612 carry 1 2 here 1 plus 1 is 2 so here total it become 220 degree plus x 
is equal to 360 degree. Next 220 degree you should take to RHS side. Okay. So, x is equal to 360 degree minus 220 degree. Okay. Now, you have to subtract 360 degree minus 220 degree. So, this is equal to now 0 6 minus 2 is 4 3 minus 2 is 1. So, 140 degree that means here x is equal to 140. Okay. Now, we will go to next B diagram. Now, see in this diagram this is C diagram. Okay. Now, in this diagram here given on horizontal line. So, here exterior outside angle 60 degree and this side exterior angle 70 degree. Now, here interior one angle is given 30 degree. So, here given x and here also x. So, here we should find the x value. So, first what we should do here? Now, see base interior angle. First we should find base interior angle. Now, or we can take linear pair sum of these two angles is equal to 180 degree sum of these two angles is equal to 180 degree ok or we can write first base interior angle first first base interior angle first base interior angle Okay. Now, sum of these two angles is equal to 180 degree. So, 180 degree sum of these two angles 180 degree. So, here 70 degree is given. So, you have to minus 70. Okay. So, this is equal to 110 degree. So, this angle it become 110 degree. Now, second point this angle we have to find here. Second second base interior angle second base interior angle okay this also same 180 degree minus here 60 is there so we have to take here 60 degree so this is equal to 120 degree okay now we got this angle first 110 degree and this angle also we got 60 degree uh, sorry 120 degree we got this angle 120 degree so we know that <coughs> first how many sides are here angle sum of a polygon so formula we know that so first we have to find here how many sides are here 1 2 3 4 5 sides okay so in this figure there are totally 5 sides so, 5 sides in this figure, 5 sides. Okay. Now, what we should take here? n is equal to 5 because 5 sides are there. So, we have to take n is equal to 5. Now, angle sum of a polygon, angle sum of a polygon, polygon. So, you know that formula n minus 2 into 180 degree n minus 2 into 180 degree. So, here n how many sides are there 5 sides. So, you write in n place 5 minus 2 into 180 degree. Now, 5 minus 2 that is equal to 3 into 180 degree. So, now multiply 3 into 180 degree 3 0 is a 0 3 8 is a 24 2 carry 4 here 3 1 is a 3 plus carry to 5. So, 5 40 degree that means sum of all the angles of this figure is 540 degree. Okay. A figure which is having 5 sides total internal angles of that figure that angle 
sum of all the angles of 5 sided figure that is equal to 540 degree. Now, we have to find the value of x here. So, after this, so add all the angles here 3 30, de 30 degree this first one 30 degree then plus x plus 110 plus 120 plus x is equal to 540 degree. Now, x how many times here? 2 times x here. So, first you should write 2 x then add all these values. So, 110 plus 120 120 that it become 230 230 plus 30 it become 260 ok. So, this is equal to 540 degree. Now, next 260 you should take to RH side it become minus. So, 2 x is equal to 540 degree minus 260 degree. So, here you subtract here. So, this is equal to 280 ok. Then 2x is equal to 280 that means, so here 2x is equal to 280 degree. So, x is equal to what we should take here 280 divided by 2, 2 goes to denominator. So, 2 1s are here 2 1s are 2 4 are 0. So, answer is 140 degree that means, x value is 140 degree. On the d figure here given in this figure x x x here. So, all the sides are equal. So, here we should find the x value we know that angle sum of a polygon angle sum of a polygon angle sum of a polygon. So, what is the formula here? n minus 2 into 180 degree. So, how many sides are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sides. So, that means, here n equal to we should take 5, n equal to 5 because 5 sides are there here. So, in this formula we have to substitute n equal to 5, 5 minus 2 into 180 degree. Okay. 5 minus 2 that is equal to 3, 3 into 180 degree. So, this is equal to 540 degree. Now, 540 degree that means, sum of all these 3 uh, all these interior angles that is equal to 540 degree. So, therefore, we have to take here x how many x are here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 2, two 3, 4, 5 x. So, this is equal to 540 degree. So, 5 x is equal to 540 degree then x is equal to 540 degree divided by 5. 5 1 ja, 5 1 ja, reduce it 5 8 ja, 40. 5 1 ja, 5. So, here 4 is less than 5. So, we should take 0 here 5 8 ja, 40. 5 1 ja, 5 1 ja, cancel it because here 4 is less than 4 is less than 5. So, 0 5 8 ja, 40. So, this is equal to 108 degree 108 degree that means x is equal to 108.